I want to welcome all my viewers from across the globe. My name is Ifi Onabo and welcome to Ifi's Global Channel. Um, this channel discusses basically African matters. We tell our story the way we see it. We try to present a balanced view of, of uh, news and events and how they affect our people both at home and here in the diaspora. Now, today, um, I, I want to say that we have done three uh, videos in relation to the topic that we're discussing today. Um, what we're doing is to introduce the high potential individual visa scheme to my viewers from across the globe. This visa scheme is a new scheme that's just been launched by the UK government. It started on the 30th of May 2022 and the idea behind the high potential individual visa scheme is to attract what uh, the French people refer to as the creme de la creme. In other words, the UK government aims to attract the best brains who have graduated from elite universities uh, across the globe. So the first video we did was an introduction. The second video we did on this subject matter um, examined the eligibility criteria. And the third video that we did examined the financial requirements or what I would refer to as the cost implications. Now the links to these uh, three videos, I will place them in the description box below this very video that we're doing now. And what are we doing today? We'll be looking at whether uh, the holder of another visa, or if you hold a visa in another category, whether you can switch to the high potential visa scheme without the requirement of having to travel out of the UK, without the requirement of traveling to your home country to start a fresh application. Now, the answer to that question is, Yes. In other words, if you are if you are already in the UK and you are the holder of a particular kind of visa, not all types, you you are allowed to apply for a switch to the high potential individual visa program. Both the main applicant and the dependents can switch from another category. However, there are exceptions, and please listen to these ex exceptions. If you hold a visitor's visa, you, do, you don't qualify, you cannot switch. A visitor's visa or a tourist visa, you cannot switch. If you hold a short-term student visa, you also cannot switch. And if, if you've been granted leave to remain outside uh, immigration rules, you're not allowed to switch. And if you hold a, a visa of a, a parent of, of a child who is in school here, you're not allowed to switch. If you hold a visa of a domestic worker, you're not allowed to switch. So that's, those are the exceptions. Now, another thing we'll look at is what are the work options for the dependents of high potential individual uh, visa holders? Like we explained in our, our previous uh, videos, this visa route is not related to sponsorship. You are not required to have a sponsor and you're not required to, to prove that you already have a job offer in the UK. So, both the main applicant, the main visa holder and the dependents of the visa holder they can work in the UK without restrictions. So, um, a part, uh, if, you are, if you hold a high potential individual visa, your partner, your partner can also uh, work in the UK without restrictions. That's that's a huge advantage. It also means that uh, you or your partner can set up a business without any other thing. You can set up a business in the UK. You can also register yourself as self-employed. 
your partner can also register as self-employed. So it's a, it's a win-win situation for everybody. Now the next thing we will examine is what are the immigration options upon the completion of your leave to, to remain as a high potential individual visa holder. In other words, when your residency is about to expire, what are the opportunities that are available? Remember that the idea behind this whole scheme is to allow uh, beneficiaries to establish stronger connections with the UK. So if, for example, you are a holder of uh, this uh, a high potential individual visa, this route allows switching into any work permitted category that leads to settlement. In other words, a settlement as skilled worker, a startup, or as an innovator, or exceptional talent, or scale-up route. Those are, route, those are opportunities or possibilities that are available to you. You are also allowed to switch or to apply for variation of your visa at any time before the, the expiry date of this visa. Now, like we explained, this visa program that we're talking about today is different from the graduate route. The graduate route is uh, available to uh, students who have come into the UK to do a bachelor's or master's or PhD, and on completion, the UK government uh, normally would offer them two or three years of additional stay where they can, uh, during which time they can stay and work. This high potential individual visa program is different from that. So, what that means is that when this high potential individual visa program is about to expire, you can quickly apply and then you try to see if you fall in, if you can apply and scale up to any other category that you so desire. Now, what about your dependents? You can bring in your dependents into the UK. Your partner can come into the UK, your children who are under the age of 18, you can bring them as well under the scheme. So that's also an added advantage. Now, the one we talk about partner, your partner uh, refers to your spouse. It also refers to a civil or unmarried partner. Now, if both of you are not married, then there is a requirement that you, you must have lived together for at least two years and that is a genuine, they have to show proof that it's a genuine uh, relationship. And once you do that, then it means your partner also qualifies alongside you. And that's about it. Um, if you have any questions relating to uh, this particular high potential individual visa program, you can use my email address and send your questions to me and I will do my best to, to respond as quickly as I can. I want to thank you for watching and uh, if you have if you like our content, our content are uh, uh, we, we, we do content for the purposes of information, for the purposes of education, for the purposes of uh, enlightenment. So if you like the kind of things that we create, please subscribe, please like, please share, and I also welcome your comments. I will always respond to your comments. I will always acknowledge the comments that you send in. Once again, thank you for watching. My name is Ifi Onabu, and this is Ifi's Global Channel, a channel where we say it as we see it. Bye.